Yo, Action Bronsoline, yo. Euro Bronson, yen. Get me my motherfucking yen. Get me my lira. Get me my fucking dinar. Get me all that shit. I want my money in my motherfucking hand. You understand me? I want pounds. I want quid. Give me fucking, give me 20,000 quid right now just to look me in the fucking eye. Happy holidays. I'm with my motherfucking man, DJ Semtex, in the building. Go fuck your father. <laughs> Right now, with the guy that drops easily one of the hottest mixtapes of the year, I'm talking about Blair Chandelier's got my man Action Bronson. What's going on, man? Yeah, man, what about Blue Chess, man? Two of them this year, dogs. Come on. I, I think... Get it together right now, man. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> but I, I think the artwork on Blair Chandelier's alone is award-winning. I think the crocodile with the machine gun attached to it should get an award. I'm going to get that tattooed on my neck, 100%. <laughs> Who came up with the concept for that? I would have to, I mean, you know, I don't like tooting my own horn unless I'm by myself, but it was me. <laughs> <laughs> now, yeah, you know, the dude, the homie Johnny Sampson, who was um, an amazing artist, we just got on the phone and I told him all the ideas that I had and he just straight up knocked it out the fucking park. I, like, I couldn't have been happier. It was like the, the most amazing, like, from, you know, all the bullshit that goes on with the music side of everything. That was the smoothest thing about the project. I mean, you know, people talk about swag, people talk about bling, balling. I mean, their chandeliers, they've been kind of overlooked in hip-hop, right? I would say so, man, you know. <laughs> it's just a metaphor for, you know, like, we're, we're just fucking rare people, you know? We're just, we're not we're not like everybody else. We're, you know, we're, we're one of a kinds, you know? And that just shows, the project shows what we do. Crazy you were saying about, you know, Times Square, Virgin, copying the CD from the locks, and then you get to work with Styles P. Has there been any, any other moments like that when you're just like, wow, this is this this is too too like too good to be true? There's a lot of moments like that. I'm just you know surprising how many like celebrities, or, like big celebrities, are fans of mine, and it's just like who? Just like one in particular, like fucking Jonah Hill. Like he's just he's like one of the biggest movie stars there is, and he, I'm just chilling with him driving through Queens in my Beamer. <laughs> smoking fucking weed, talking about, you know, just regular shit. It's just surreal shit, wow. you know? But at the end of the day, we're all fucking people, so that shit, it don't matter. It's just, you put the camera in front of someone, you know, people are drawn to somebody, and you become famous. Still the same people. Them two amazing mixtapes. Red Chandeliers. It feels like it's taking you somewhere else. It's like a lot of people who weren't aware of what you was about have kind of woken up a bit more while starting to pay more attention. What was the plan for 2013? What's next? Well, I got uh, my actual studio project coming out through Vice Warner Brothers. Um, can expect just a lot more, just more of what I do and just taking it to the next level. You know, it's not going to be... I'm not the type of guy to go with any too crazy concept type of thing, and I'm more of just a fucking, I rap, you know, rap, 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 but there's all kinds of songs and all kinds of things that you don't usually hear in rap, and different types of scenarios and shit that are not really brought to the forefront in rap because I'm such a sick person that, <laughs> you know, not everyone's gonna understand the concepts I'm thinking of or think the way I think. Who are you looking to work with? Um, I mean, I've been working with everybody that... The, only, the person I really want to work with is RZA. Yeah. I want to... I, I, like, I feel like I need a RZA beat. And I feel, you know, in general, I need a premiere beat just for my life. You know, just... Mm. Just, you know, you know, it's like fucking Holy Grail of hip-hop type yeah, yeah. shit. I just need that. Um, I'm trying... I'm talking to Ray right now. Hopefully Ray and Ghost get on the project. Um, cool G rap, hopefully. You know, I've got some odd future homies. You know, at the end of the day, you never, I don't want to name drop. Mm. I, it's going to be just me. Right. I'm not having any fucking features, as a matter of fact. The only feature <laughs> I'm going to have is from Mayhem Loren, my brother, that's it. Okay. And Big Body. Talking. <laughs> that's it. That's probably one of the quickest. It's one of the quickest A and R decisions I've ever seen. I'm A and R in my own project. Man. I'm not. I don't need an A and R. I'm the A and R. Right. Right. 2013 
you know, hip hop, there's, there's always a new generation coming through. There's always a next wave of lyricism that, that you know, keeps the fire burning. Like, who, who are you personally looking out for in 2013? Who, who's the action Bronson, the Euro Bronson one to watch? Um, oh man, I told you I really, I'm fucking with Schoolboy right now. I want to, I want to continue to, like, I hope he fucking progresses and does ill shit the way he's been doing. Um, Mayhem Loren, you know, I just, there's, there's a bunch of people coming out in New York, like, uh, Joey Badass, and just a lot of people, like, that's coming up now, these kids, uh, Wiki, Brad King, and I, there's just, there's someone new every fucking day, it's hard to keep up, I really am, these are just names I've, I've heard, you know, more I keep to myself, me and Joey got a fucking crazy song, you know, so, that he's definitely... At that age, I was not thinking about rap. There was no thought of rap, so for him to be that talented and that skilled at that age is pretty impressive. And it's crazy because he's kind of writing his own rules as well, like the way that he's coming through, he's not doing the usual. You know, like when it's, normally when you know someone like Joey comes along, everyone's like, duh, 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 but he's just like, he's just cool, he's just doing his thing. He's just doing his thing, you know, he's gonna, at the end of the day, people are gonna get tired of just rap, so like, they always tell me you gotta try and write more songs that connect and this and that. It'll come, it'll come, cause he's probably been rapping longer than I have, and I'm 29 years old. You know, so late bloomer. <laughs> Wanna send out a festive message to UK fans? I would. What if motherfuckers celebrate Christmas and everything else, Kwanzaa, all that shit? Just happy holidays to everyone in the UK. I'll be back very soon. New Year's, happy New Year's, happy all that shit. I know you motherfuckers like to get drunk. Don't cause any trouble. Don't do drugs unless you're with me. And that's it.